Okay, we have a piece of crown here, a repeat crown molding, and if we go into the properties and change the name from MTR none to left or right or both, we can turn those miters on and off the way we need them. And then you can stretch it to whatever width you need. What this allows me to do is take this piece of crown and put it into a cabinet. And I can equate that piece of crown to stay the width and of the cabinet and the depth of the cabinet. So if I change this cabinet, it'll everything will adjust accordingly. And what I've actually done is I've saved a blank cabinet with only the molding in there so that you can insert this blank cabinet into a job and then you can transfer that crown molding from one cabinet to the other through the object tree. And it will keep all the equations. The other thing I've done is in the room, in the room parameters, I've made a low res parameter. And let's delete that and I'll show you how to put it in. Just click on the add button and put type in low res and change that to a value of 1 and hit OK. And that will turn off a lot of that excess molding so that you can work a little bit faster, especially if you have a lot of detail in your room. Then if you want to turn it back on, just go back into the room parameters, change it back to zero, and it will turn back on, and then you can do your rendering.